Stress plays a big role in your inflammation. And whether this is physical stress from a condition like Lyme's or being in pain, or it's the stress of work and life and traffic, um, which we all know very, very well. Um, stress, is, stress is certainly inflammatory. The more stress you're under, the more it raises a, um, cortisol levels in your body, which tend to have the abdominal, the apple fat. And the more stressed you are, the body actually has is less responsive to anti-inflammatory signals that are going on in your body when you're under greater stress. Long-term stresses especially are, are an issue because a lot of it is, you know, we evolved so that when you feel stress, our glucose, our body releases glucose because essentially if you were under stress, it meant that the tiger was chasing you. You needed to haul your butt out of there as soon as humanly possible. And what you needed was to move your muscle, like you, you needed to do. Um, our bodies didn't evolve to be sitting at a work desk and you know, you're stressed when you're talking to your boss and whatever else and your stress hormones go up and then you're not moving anywhere and yet your blood sugar has gone up. Um, since all of us, I will assume, living in this culture experience stress, finding a way to manage it is, is important for a lot of reasons. First of all, I have yet to meet the person who you know, starts craving broccoli when they're stressed <laughs> or cauliflower or kale or even collards. So the food choices we make are very different. So not only you know, are people often choosing higher carb, higher fat foods and having less time to prepare and take care of themselves, but there are all the other cortisol factors and, and everything else across the line. One of the things that's important to do or to add in is some way of reducing stress in your life. And whether that's meditation, guided imagery, yoga, calling a friend, journaling, hitting a pillow, going for a walk, playing with your dog, whatever, Find, getting massage, finding some way to, to release that stress on a regular basis is incredibly anti-inflammatory and incredibly helpful for all of us to stay healthy. There are certain people you speak to and you feel much worse because you hear about <laughs> all of their issues and it's almost a contest of who feels worse and it's like, okay, you win. Um, those are not people that are going to reduce your stress level. But talking to some, someone who seems to understand who's caring, so whether it's a therapist or a friend or a pet, uh, my cat sometimes listens, sometimes doesn't. <laughs> it's, it, it's helpful, it's therapeutic in a lot of ways. The idea of having a, you know, a list of things that you can do, your little escape kit, so that if you're in that period of stress, you have, oh yeah, I can call this person, oh yeah, I can get a massage, oh yeah, I can, I can rub my own shoulders and, or ask a friend or do a meditation or guided imagery or whatever else it may be. So knowing before you're in that period of, oh my gosh, what do I do? What things you can do to help yourself feel better and to help yourself relax. Just, just a word on meditation is that um, different meditation techniques work for different people. So there's active meditation from going for a walk. There's you know, the tense release exercises. For some people it's guided imagery. And so it takes you out of, uh, they call it the lazy person's meditation. It, you know, because you're, a lot of times when you're saying, okay, just quiet your mind, then all of a sudden your bill is what you're supposed to do and you're like, hey, I needed to make dinner and this, that, and the other, and you end up being more stressed. So finding something where someone leads you to a woods and the stream and blah, 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 and the birds <laughs> tweeting, maybe more your, more your cup of tea, so to speak. But especially even with um, GI condition, conditions or other, anything else where you're under stress, um, meditation has been shown to be helpful. Sleep is when your body repairs itself, um, which is incredibly important as far as inflammation goes. When people get less sleep, there's higher rates of breast cancer. I mean, lots of things we... We tend to sleep falls off our list sometimes of things that are important, but anyone with fibromyalgia, anyone with chronic owie diseases, you know, sleep is your medicine. It's, it's, it's really important and integral to you. And you're right, anything that keeps your mind spinning, so especially if it's like listening to the news right before bed where you hear about all the tragedies and everything else, the internet, anything where you're being stimulated um, tends to keep you up longer, whereas reading a book, listening to music, you know, soothing music, not, <laughs> not Nirvana. Um, it, it's something where it's, it's quieting your system is helpful in helping you sleep, which is really important.